What's up guys, this is Professor Thali, and in this video I'm going to be showing you on how to use your workspaces that you have created in Oracle Express applications to create a simple database. So our database is composed of three tables. Uh, there's table employee, table department, and table works for. Um, and uh, in the first table we have three columns. We have employees ID, employees name, and email. So we want to keep track of all the employees. Uh, we want to record all their IDs. Every employee must have an ID which should be unique to that employee, distinguishes that employee from the rest of the employees. No two employees or more can have the same ID. Uh, and then we have employee name and also the email address. For the second table we have department table. So we have the department's ID and the department's name. Of course the department's ID is also unique so each department is going to have its unique ID. And then we have a table works for. In this table we have three columns. We have the employee's ID and the department's ID uh, and the salary. So for each employee we want to also include the department's ID that they work for uh, and how much they get paid. So employee ID, employee with ID 1 works for department with ID 22 and gets paid $20,000. So in other words, employee's ID 1, if you take that ID and go to table employee, you will know that it's Bob. So Bob works for departments uh, that has ID 22, which is computer department. So Bob works for the computer department and gets paid $20,000. Same thing for the second column here. We have that Bill, who is the employee with ID 2, works for the same department, which is the computer department at ID 22, and gets paid $15,000 and so on. Okay, so let's get started. But for the first table that we're going to work with uh, or create is table employee. So I have three columns to create, and each column has some data of a specific type. Okay, so you must choose the right type or the appropriate type for each um, uh, one of these columns. Okay, so let's get started. So you will go to your Oracle um, or workspaces. So you want to click on that and you want to click sign in. So once you click sign in, you're going to type in your workspace. Uh, your workspace should, you should remember your workspace. Uh, so mine was, uh, and type in your email address, the one that you set up your account with, uh, and put your password. Okay, hit sign in. Uh, you will get to your workspace, so you go to SQL Workshop, and then go to SQL Commands. In this editor, we're going to be typing our code uh, for creating the first table. So the first table is department, I mean, uh, employee, and it has three columns. So, uh, all right, so the code for creating tables is starts with uh, create table, and then the table name, which is uh, employee. Uh, for naming, it's not case sensitive, so you can use you know lowercase or uppercase doesn't matter uh, we're going to open parentheses and now we're going to put our columns so the first column in our table is employees id employee id and then we're going to put the data type the type of data that go in this column so employees id is of type numeric and i could simply type number here as the data type i can put a precision here for how many decimal or how many uh, digits can this number have? Um, I'm only including single digits here, so I'm going to just simply put one. Um, and then I'm also going to say that this is my primary key. Uh, okay. And the second column is going to be employee's name, e name. Uh, e name is going to be of type varchar. Uh, varchar means uh, string, value, text value. Uh, so varchar for this column, we're going to say how much are we allowing as a maximum number of characters. So varchar, I'm going to put 20 to be on the safe side. That means a name must be of a maximum number of characters, 20, but it could be less. 
a comma, and then we put the next column, which is email. Uh, same thing here is going to be email. And uh, it's also Vartar. And um, the number of characters I'm going to put 25. Uh, you will end this query with a semicolon. So this whole thing, this whole query is one line of code. And it ends with a semicolon. It just, uh, yeah, we structure it in this way to just make it more, um, you know, easy to understand and also easier to maintain. But it is one line of code that ends with that semicolon. Now, what you could do is simply hit this run button. When you hit the run button, you will get a message here saying that your table has been created. Um, the table is there. It's in the database. Uh, it's in your workspace. But it has no data yet. Okay, so you have created the table, but you have not inserted into, any data into it. Now we're going to create our next table. And our next table is going to be uh, department. So this is our next table. It is department and it has two columns, DID and DNAME. Okay, so create, so create table department. And the table is going to have two columns. That is DID, uh, which could be of type number uh, two because we're allowing two decimal uh, two uh, digits and this should be our primary key to distinguish all uh, rows from each other or instances from each other uh, we use the primary key column and then we have our um, next column which is department name so it's D name uh, and it's also that a name is going to be Vartar. So Vartar, um, I'm going to allow 20 characters. Uh, and that's it for this table. So you just hit run. And it should say table created. Uh, now we go and create our next table, which is table works for. So create, create table works for. And this table is going to have uh, three columns. So the first column is EID, DID, salary. So EID is a reference to EID that's in table employee. So therefore, it's a foreign key. So therefore, it should have the same data type. And we should also mention here that this is a foreign key that references this column from table employee. Uh, and DID is referencing the DID column from table department. So uh, the relationship that's created between these two tables, department and employee, is through table works for. It creates the link between those two tables. Uh, okay, so works for. So our first uh, column is going to be EID. So it's going to be E underscore ID. Uh, it, we created it of type number, uh, and the, the precision was one. And then uh, we want to say that this is a foreign key, so therefore we're going to say references. What table does it reference? It references table employee. What column in table employee does it reference? It references EID of the table employee. Okay, comma. And then we're going to add our next column, which is DID, which was declared a type number with precision 2. And also it references uh, the table department. So it references department. And what column and department does it reference? It references the ID. Okay, um, our third column is salary. So salary is a new column. Um, and it's uh, including uh, whole numbers. Um, you can have, you know, salaries with decimal values, but because uh, our table does not include that, we're just gonna keep just the uh, whole number type so we're allowing uh, so that is one two three four five 
to be on the safe side, we're going to allow six digits, six figures. Um, and this is going to be the last column we're creating, except that the next thing we want to do is a constraint to specify what primary key, uh, what is the primary key of works for. In this example, the primary key is going to be the combination of these two columns because the combination of these two will make every single row unique. So there will never be a redundant um, combination. So 122 is not the same as 222. So that combination is different. Same thing here. We have four, uh, I mean, 522 and 222 is also a uh, unique combination. So we're going to say primary key and in parentheses we're going to specify the columns that will make up the primary key which is a composite primary key. Okay so that's it for this table. You run the code and it will say table created. Again table created. So we created three tables. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to insert data into these three tables. Okay, till the next one.